Hunter x Hunter, episode 114 review, let's go! Alright, there's a few things I want to talk about. One, I just want to talk about my boy Shoot, because this episode kind of focused majority on Shoot and Knuckles here, but my boy Shoot right now, man, you went hard, man. You went extra hard. You went in so hard that I, I think, I don't even think you realize how hard you just went in. I mean, you went so hard that you lost. Like, <laughs> it was ridiculous. He was going a little too hard there. Like, this sucker went in and, and, and tried to touch Yopi. He did successfully touch him by the price of his arm. You know what he did? He was like, he, he sort of left. Like, like that didn't happen. Like, that didn't happen. That didn't affect him at all. Like, he didn't give a crap about his arm or something. It's just it's ridiculous. I mean, this dude was just losing everything. And I'm like, dang. Like, you, you're so beast right now. Like, I, this is what I'm talking about. You, like, a coward comes up and uprises and be, be a beast, be a boss. That's, like, that's what you do. But, unfortunately, like I said, he was losing, like, he was in consciousness and stuff, and he was, like, in his own different kind of freaking reality at that point. He was like, oh, I can still go. I can still go. But in reality, he's all falling. Oh. And we're like, oh, no. My, my boy, I was about to get so angry with this episode. with shoot was just about to die. I was like, no, don't you kill him. Don't you kill this dude. This dude finally got beast, and you're going to kill him? Like, like, no. But that's when my boy Knuckles, he's just like, I can't wait. I, it's, it's like freaking SpongeBob needing water. He just sat there and he's like, I, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. He's like, I can do it. And then goes in there. I was like, oh. And then, yeah, at the end of the episode, we see Shoot is down and Knuckles is gonna now fight Yopi. So this is gonna. I'm hype. I hype. I look forward to this. Hopefully, Knuckles can do something to, to at least. Like this is what I think is what they what they should do. This this is my plan that Knuckles and Shoot, because Shoot should still be able to do something. Like he's he's out, but not out for the count. I believe like Knuckles can distract him like for for a little while because you know his his APR ability is not gonna work on Yopia anytime soon. Not to mention he'll get hit, which will bring down the uh the price. You know the, the you know how his ability works. So it's just it's not it's not gonna work with him. Is this is this I don't see how his ability is gonna work. So they're gonna have to rely on Shoot here. Because the thing is, if Marlone or, you know, the chameleon guy ends up getting uh, Shoot to be invisible and then getting Shoot to actually use his hands, little hands, to touch him, I don't really know exactly how his ability full-on works, but, you know, he needs, to be, he needs to have contact with the person. He can try to, like, take off one of his vision, like, from his eye or something. or You know what I mean? Like, do some stuff to impair something with Yopi so Knuckles have a better chance of defeating him. Like, they have a chance. If they do this type of plan, if they can possibly still win this, they can actually probably still win this if if they try to rely on Shoot's ability to be able to blind people and to do whatever he does with that ability and maybe trap him inside of it as long as he's invisible because he can't see him and you don't know what's going on. But he, I guess that will come to the conclusion like he'll figure out that someone is being invisible. But though he kind of already has that thought in mind because Knuckles did punch him. So he's probably going to end up assuming once Knuckles once he starts fighting Knuckles that Knuckles is the one that actually punched him in the side because he kind of noticed that from the beginning because he's wondering where this ability came from from behind because he had to go out of, Knuckles had to go out of the invisibility thingy because uh, the chameleon guy couldn't hold his breath any longer, which actually has been about two minutes. Well, is, has it been about two minutes? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of still confused on the time because things are slow motion right now, so it's hard, it's hard to tell. But, uh, yeah, I, that's my plan. Like, I'm hoping they'll do something like that because otherwise I don't see how Knuckles can fight him alone. I don't see how he's going to be able to win this. So, unless they do something like that, they're going to die. So, go on and kill uh, Go to fight Pizza. But kill, uh, you know, he seems very unsure about this. Like, he's, like, kind of nervous. Like, he don't know what to do here. He's like, I'm not sure if he's afraid or, or what's going on with him. But he, he is not... He's not in the right mindset right now. Like he's just been, he's been very, very emotional. I guess you can say. Like he's, he's, oh, he's overthinking everything and just going in there. It's like it's, he, he. I know he has that kind of, you know, very in, like intellectual mind and, and he tries to see all the outcomes and everything. But sometimes, you know, this like honestly, this is stupid. Like trying to fight against Pizza right now because, you know, Pizza still, he, like just, just far beyond stronger than both of y'all. So at the end of the day, it's still a bad decision. You kind of agree to this whole thing, so it's like don't worry about it so much. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention. They have an advantage here because Pizza, I'm sure, is probably going to be focusing more on healing uh, Komogi than even actually uh, attacking the monster. Because, I mean, again, the king gave her that mission. And she was crying like, oh my god, like, this is the highest freaking mission I've ever gotten from you. Like, you, you, you counting on me. So, I mean, I can see how they have the advantage on that front right there. And I think they can use that to their advantage to actually possibly win this battle. So the other thing we see in here, apparently Zenos, he un unleashed a dragon and, and he ends up transporting the king and Netero away so they can go fight and stuff. So Zenos is actually not going to participate in that battle with him. 
which sucks a lot. Ah, the king, man, he's gonna get him. He's, he's like, I, I don't, I, I wanted Zeno to be there. If Zeno was there, there's more of a possibility for them to win, but they're not gonna double team. They're, he wants to go one on one with them. You know, that's what I mean. That's what your beast, man, your, your beast. But this is the king here. Yeah. Like, he's not concerned. Like, he literally could have got the jump on you because you messed up. So, I'm, I'm just like, I don't know, man. No. Mm, that's her old. Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> and all this right here. And, oh, so mad. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, you messed up, Akalgo. Akalgo, you know, he's he's in Flutter's body right now. And, you know, she cheats you and both alone meet bug guy. I, I, I can't say his name. I don't care about the dude. But the whole point is. We also got the wolf, too, by the way. He's still he's still peeking in the corner. You know, he, he's a creeper and crap. But, uh. We got them, and they're all talking and everything, and this is where, this is where Ikago messes up. Ikago's like, I got orders from Hagia-san to go down to the underground basement and all that stuff. And he's like, okay. Kichu didn't realize anything because Kichu don't really give a crap about what, what he goes by. Because if you remember, he goes by Leo. He said Hagia. The Bovalon dude and Wolf guy was like, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> so I was like, no, you like, you messed up, like, dang it. So, uh, Elkago, watch out. I really think this, this is not looking good for him. This is not looking good for him. So, yeah, I don't know how powerful he is, but I don't know if he can face against both of them by himself. So, I, I, this, is, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for him. He, he messed up, man. Only if he got some more intel to know that he ain't going by Haga anymore. And that, that was interesting how that kind of came back. So I like that though. I like that though. Basically, the last part of this episode that I want to talk about is Poof's spiritual message. It allows him to see a person's state of mind and feelings and everything, and he's putting like all morale and stuff. And he knows that morale is always on his guard. And but the thing is, he's also very confident too. So I like that morale is like confident. Like he knows this is, this is a dangerous situation, but he's still confident, knowing he could possibly still win this. Like there's still a chance. And he's wondering what like who's wondering like what the heck's what, like okay that's interesting. But he's like you know what all right what he's gonna what, what Poof did here he went to a cocoon. So this dude is gonna freaking evolve. The dude is going to evolve into a Pokemon. It's, it, oh, it's about to happen. So I wonder what exactly is gonna happen to him. Is he is he finally gonna just not be so emotional or what? Like he's finally gonna like, focus on him and try to fight him. Like I'm curious what the heck is Poof is gonna do. Cause like I said, Poof is just a very emotional uh, royal guard here, and he's just. He, I feel like I said he can um, still get the upper hand or I can get the upper hand on him because of his emotions. Like he's very emotional. So it's easy to try to, to throw him off, honestly. So if Morale can sense that and get that from him, he can possibly still win this. But again, this is very looking very slim for Morale because he's by himself. So ah, uh, this is not looking good. This is uh, it's not looking good. So yeah, this has been my review for Hunter x Hunter. Like I said, this episode was a good episode overall. I did enjoy it. But honestly, we need to start focusing on one battle at this point in time so we can, you know, so we don't have to keep jumping around too much or at least focus on two. Like, we're going to, we're going, we're going around in a circle all, all the time. And I guess the time frame, honestly, is kind of starting to throw me off a little bit too. I don't know how long it's, it's been at this point because everything's in slow motion. So I'm like, I guess I can ask you guys, how long is this slow motion stuff going to last? So I'm, I don't, I, it's just like I said, again, it's throwing me off a little bit. So I want to know what the heck is going on. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think of this week's episode of Hunter x Hunter. Like, like this review, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Hunter x Hunter reviews. Please, and with the Breakmaster, and until then, people, break out.